Jamie and Johnny starts right now on Access Hollywood. Hey! Ain't nobody ever gave me nothing. I got a double dose of Jamie Foxx today. Hey. Double the fun. Everything's coming up. Nomination roses. Ms. Benning, please hold. Ms. Swank, please hold. We have an it's Oscar for Jamie Foxx, who has joined a very elite group, and Sean Robinson is with the Fox. Nancy, I'm with a man who's having double the pleasure, double the fun today. Oh, wow. wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Hit the road, Jack. Hey! <laughs> Easy for you. Oh. Well, I tell you what, this is beautiful. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever gave me nothing. Jamie, you've sure got your hands full today. Georgia. Georgia. And he's got more than Georgia on his mind, making Oscar history this morning with not one, but two Academy Award nominations. You probably knew you were going to get one. Yeah. But two. No, we had no idea. No, had idea. no idea. No idea. Collateral was a complete yeah. surprise. Collateral was a complete surprise. Jamie's only the tenth person to be nominated in both acting categories in the same year. One supporting nod for his taxi driver opposite Tom Cruise in Collateral. The other a best actor nod for his picture perfect portrayal of the late great Ray Charles. Yeah, he, he, I think the boy got it. <laughs> yeah, he got it. And he sure had it today, tickling the ivories at the Gibson Baldwin Piano Showroom in Beverly Hill. I got a woman. Way over town. It's good to me. Yeah. Run down the list of people who called you today that we know. Oh, man. Uh, this girl named, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, from Bruce Willis to Sean Puffy Combs to, to Halle Berry. Who left the funniest one? For uh, you? Puffy. Oh, what did he oh, say? I can't say it. I was, I was, Congratulations. I have some flowers for you. Oh, my God. Did Look you... at this. Did you see that? <laughs> How did you feel? How did you get these stamped like this? I painted them this morning. There's a picture of Nancy. Oh, a picture of Billy that? Bush. Just watch for the thorns. There, there are no thorns in this experience. Our friendly floral delivery man, Tim Vincent, shared the surprise with the aviators, Alan Alda, who after a career of 30 Emmy nominations, today got his first Oscar nod. I didn't believe it. I was watching it and didn't believe it when I saw it. So it was a complete shock to you? It was shocked before, during, and after. My wife was jumping up and down, and I thought, why is she jumping like that? If you got nominated, you'd be surprised. I'd be running around naked. Yes. Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Come on, let's do it now. Hey, hold that thought. Flowers for Catalina. Flowers for Catalina. There you go. Thank I wanted you. to be the first to officially congratulate you on your nomination. Aww. And newcomer Catalina Sedino Moreno may just upset those front-running ladies with her dramatic Spanish-speaking role in Maria Full of Grace. You know, it's too much for me. It's too much everything for me. Oh, my God. You're going to start crying. Oh, you don't You're have to cry. Too much this <laughs> no surprise, but a few tears this morning with Tony Potts for a Golden Globe nominee, now first-time Oscar nominee, Virginia Madsen for her Best Supporting Actress role in the independent comedy, Sideways. Well, I knew it was going to be Kate Blanchett. I was like, I knew it was going to be Laura Linney. I knew, oh, I did not know it was going to be me. <laughs> you know? So did you, did you do the, the nomination dance, or did oh, you Oh, yeah, I mean, I faint? just, you know, I, I just started screaming and jumping up and down and, and, and uh, felt a little faint. It's a little yeah. early in the morning to be doing that. But left out was Virginia's Sideways co-star, Paul Giamatti, who got pushed out to make room for Clint Eastwood in the Best Actor category. I was, quite frankly, surprised about Paul. I, I, thought, I, I, I thought he would be in there. Uh, I was, too. But, you know, Thomas talked to Paul this morning, and uh, or yesterday, actually, and, and Paul felt like, you know, he spoke so highly of Don Cheadle and of Clint Eastwood, and he really felt like they would come to the forefront and he didn't think that he would get a nomination. So, hmm. you know, I was like, yes, you will, of course you will, you know, because we know how amazing his performance was.